Is this where it blows up? <laughs> yeah. That's where it blows up. <laughs> right in the last second. Well, welcome back again to Model Mania Live. This is the unscripted, unpracticed, unprepared take at the previous Model Mania challenges. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Model Mania 2009. I have not done this one before. I have not seen the solution. We're taking a look at the drawing now. We have 20 minutes on the clock, so I'll spend just a couple moments reviewing this drawing and then start the timer and create this part as fast as we can. If you're not familiar with Model Mania, we actually have two phases here. Um, we're given this drawing unprepared. We have to create this model, and then when we're done, we go over to phase two, where then we don't know what awaits us. If we compare to previous years, we've known it was a model change. Maybe we have to create configurations. But new in Model Mania 2008, they introduced simulation. And away we go. Let's go on. We're doing a top plane sketch circle one. That is going to be, I'm already messing up, 60. And that one is 25. So let's actually apply those. Yep. Yep. Um, do I want to put in those cuts here now? I could. Line tool. We have a center to center of 125. You know, those are horizontal. That gives me my fully defined sketch, so we'll just do this up, just this one. That is at a draft of four. Everything's at a draft of four. It's already drafting in. How high are we going? 40. Okay, we want that sketch back. We're going to take that sketch again to a boss extrude of that guy. Draft it at 4 degrees, um, the height of which is 20. Um, but we are offset at the start um, at 30. Other way. We'll go to the right plane. Oops, excuse me, front plane. Um, here's where we're creating that bottom web. Um, this is just kind of sketch out some lines here. We got there to there coming down and wake that up. Let's kind of come out over here. Even that projected edge. Yep. Make midpoint. Uh, what are our dimensions? So we have that height already figured out. The distance between these two, so where I can just dimension the length of that line is 50. Um, the length of this line is 40. So that's going center to center. Yep. And then we will do fillets of 20. So we already have those dimensions of the sharps. I like that. We'll do fine. We're going to do mid plane. We're doing one direction thin feature. The thickness is six. Um, the depth of which, I mean, we can go out to 30. Is it 30 or 60? 60 total. But again, we need to trim that out, right? So let's. Um, Take that sketch, we'll do a cut extrude, sketch contours, uh, that one, flip side to cut. Through all both.
Let's come back to it. Maybe, maybe that is it. Okay, so what I'm thinking next here is we'll take um, a horizontal line here. We know it transitions down, but let's just kind of offset this for now. And that goes there. So we know that that's horizontal. We know... that those two are parallel, the distance between them is 25, and that gives us our fully defined sketch. Uh, we can round these while we're at it at 20. We could box select those, I think they're both 20, yeah they are. And rib feature, that's the one. It already recognizes that the width is six. It's got the same deal, but is it drafted? It is. Draft outwards at four degrees. So all those should be Y. That's not right. That is not right. Uh, is there any sketch plane wall interface? That sketch plane. That's the right direction. Well, oh, the reference there is interesting. That's good. Yeah, but see, it's doing a bad job of draft there. So what, let's turn off to draft. And apply draft. Four degrees, direction of pull. Is that parting line? We're holding these. I wonder if right click selects tangency would work here. Too late. So I think that gives me the draft that we want. That looks a lot better. That's still six. Those edges are all six. We're drafting out there. Okay. Let's create some holes. Oh, did I? No, I didn't. Top sketch one, two. 15 and 45 extrude cut through all both um, let's see we want a right plane and that edge we want a plane oh I wonder I could do it from the inside should we try that right plane, whole wizard. We're doing a tapped hole, ANSI metric, M10 by 1. Oh, it's way off in space there. Okay, what are our dimensions here? That is 20. And they're vertical. Now the question is, what the you know, reverse direction? going to do it. Hold on, let's try this. I can hold control, do the right plane, 
just offset some distance there. Sure. Whole wizard there. Same size. Let's go to positions. No, we're vertical there. That was 20. Make sure that that stays vertical. Now the type here isn't going to be through all. Up to next. There we go. Um, fillets. Please be easy on me, fillets. We have three, four minutes left. I feel like it's going to blow up down there where I have that sliver face because I need to take a closer look at that. I don't know. Um, I think everything else looks good for the most part. So we've got symmetric fillets, radius 2. Select through face. I wonder how much I can get away with here, but... That goes all the way down through there, but we also need that. That one. The one's at the bottom. Yeah, fillets are, look like they're going to be pretty easy for us, but I think, looking at the model, I think that's all of them. Oh, missed one. Got this outside edge. Is this where it blows up? <laughs> yeah. That's where it blows up. So based on how those fillets are looking, we want to round round these outside ones first. Yeah. That's looking good. Yeah, see it's still down there in that site. I don't it's not coming to a point. I don't know. Two minutes. I mean that's as close as I think I can get it. There's our tapped hole. Yeah, everything's looking good to the drawing. So let's say OK and proceed here. Oh, cool one. Oh, we messed it up again. And I've done this when I've actually done the Model Mania is lacking to apply the material. So let's go into Edit Material. We got aluminum 60, 61, 60, 61, T6. There we go. Apply. Close. Oh, that's looking good. Okay, now let's switch over. So we'll use Simulation Express here just to de determine the factor safety and maximum deflection. And okay, so retain this face, apply load. Okay, easy. So no model changes. That's nice. We've got one minute to do it. Tools, Express Products, Simulation Express. Next, add fixture to here. Okay, next. Add force to the inside face, select a direction. Can we do it to the top? Reverse direction of 1000. Okay. Next. Next. Run simulation. So, pretty quick. I mean, it walks you through those steps. You're applying the load, you're applying the uh, fixture. It already has the material applied to it, so we're meshing and running. It's going to give us the factor of safety right away, so we can record that. You say yes, that's what it does. Um, minimum factor safety 4.03. Show displacement maximum of 0.318 millimeters. Done. <laughs> right in the last second. Whoo! We didn't even hear the timer go off. I hit it just in the nick of time. Um, so, how do you think I did? Um, yeah, we sped through some of that where I just didn't know how I was handling that little sliver face here. So, let's spend the next couple minutes um, 
dig into that and see why I can't do it. I didn't go far enough. There it is. There you can clearly see, right? My extrusion only went to here, but the tangency continues to go out. So to fix that, let's come back to here. I wonder if it'll let me do this. change our draft because now we have an additional edge that we want to hold. It's going to be that one and that one. Now we combine them and that's looking nice and clean. So that was it. Roll to end. Yeah, much better. Yeah, so I just didn't extrude that far enough. I thought, yeah, of course thought that tangency would get it right there but it's not it's not we're we need to go further than that center mark um, but if take a look at this okay so how close were we on the simulation results we go back to simulation it's already set up so we can just hit next 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 run the simulation Yes, 4.028 and max displacement of 0.318 millimeters. There we go. That's the accurate result. So uh, a mess up there. I choked under the pressure and um, didn't realize at why I was missing that. Upon further, <laughs> upon further review, we clearly understand why. We just needed to extrude that out a little bit more and then trim it off like we did. So let's take a look at the SolidWorks solution video. Maybe we've got some additional lessons to learn here. Um, overall, yeah, I think I did okay. Um, overall, I did not create the correct part here. There was a little bit of a mistake. We fixed it. But again, thank you for watching. Thank you for following me on this journey as we prepare for Model Mania at SolidWorks 2017. And we'll see you on stage.